Yay, I'm live. Okay, now to get everything set up here while everybody hopefully sees that I'm live. Bella, come here. You're just gonna be crying in the background. You wanna come over here? Come here so you can open boxes with me. It's dark, so whenever people get in here, hold on. Got it, okay. Hello. This is gonna be different for me because I'm used to having my laptop on the right side of me, not the left side of me. I look kind of dark on my phone, but I look okay on my laptop. So how do I look as far as lighting? I just have the overhead light on. You guys like my festive earrings? I have a, um, hold on, I can pop this chat out. Tells you how long it's been <laughs> since I've done a live stream at my house. But I have, hi, Chuckster. I have Merry Christmas. Belle is here next to everything. I have, anyway, I have a light by me right here, but I only have two um, plugs. I don't have an extension cord over here. So I was like, I need to plug the phone in and I need to plug the laptop in. So thank you, Mr. Willie. I'm just, uh, some of my work clothes and I, I got some earrings, um, from Amazon. There's like 35 pairs of earrings for $16. So I have a brand new pair of earrings to wear every day up until Christmas. So I'm super excited. You got your Florida license. Ooh, yes. Just to Florida. Where'd you move from? That was a good feeling. That was a good feeling getting the Florida, the, the Florida discounts and stuff. I got my annual pass though for Disney the day I got here. Actually, the day I got here, my dad bought it for me. We went to Disney Springs and bought it there. Mississippi, nice. Hi, Roadhouse Entertainment. Bella says hi to everybody. But yes, that was a good that was a good feeling to get the discount for Universal. They have some really good discounts too, especially like if you stay at Hard Rock. You know, everybody gets an Express Unlimited. That That is awesome. So how is everybody's evening? How is everybody doing? I haven't got to talk to you guys in a while. What are you, you sniffing? Are you sniffing the box? Bella sniffing the box. She thinks it's for her, right? You had an annual pass in 2014. Yeah, way before COVID. Is anybody doing any? <clears throat> um, hi, girl guy. Did I say hi to you, Andrew? Hi, Andrew. If I didn't say hi. First snow fell today? Oh, no. Yeah. I would have to constantly be reminded how to drive if there was snow, too. Mm-mm. I don't, I don't like snow. I like looking at snow, but no, snow is, is not for me. Bella, you can't just sit there and cry. That's actually, she, she so too can just sit here and cry. It, I'm, I'm actually watching The Office, if you guys get that, that reference. Baby Wawa, right? I'm, like, I'm on season seven, episode 15 of The Office. I just got done with dinner. I did my dishes and everything. And I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave the office there. Maybe it'll give me a little extra light from the reflection on the TV. You went from sunny, sunny Florida yesterday to chilly. Oh no. Yeah, no snow. You were in Florida? Did you have fun? Were you in Orlando? I'm just gonna chat with you guys for a little bit. I got a couple cards and then Chuckster sent me a present. So, which, I, I've already said to you guys before, like, you guys don't have to send me anything. If anybody's like, I want to send you something, what can I send you? Like, a card. A card is awesome. Like, you do not have to send me anything. But, of course, I do appreciate that you did. 
And I've also said in my live streams that I'm not good at receiving things. I've never been good at receiving things. I like doing things for other people, but it's very hard for me to receive things. So I'm just trying to get better at that and just say thank you. So when you were in the army, I was stationed in Colorado. You did not know. Jump head first, no. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> Andrew, you need to eat. Dinner is always, it sounds good. I'm always ready for food at any time of the day. <laughs> uh, Jeter bin Saturday after flying in Springs. You did give kids the world. Oh boy. Sweet 16 trip. That's exciting. I hope you had fun. What was your, what was your favorite thing that you did here? Like, I know Disney is magical and amazing, and it's Disney, but there was just something magical about Night of a Million Lights at Give Kids the World. I just, it was it was just amazing. I really want to go back. I really, really, really want to go back. And I got an alert that they actually added some times to some of the days that they were sold out. But they added it for like 5 to 7, and I think maybe 8 to 10. So 8 to 10 would be more doable. Like five to seven would still be okay, but it doesn't really get like dark, dark until like 540. So I feel like half of your hour is missed because you don't get the full effect of all the lights in the dark. Hi, Scott. Did you go? You went too? Waiting for the dough to rise for the pizza. Oh, you make homemade. I always just go to Marco's Pizza. It's affordable. It's like the fast food pizza that I just pick up. Bella's just going to be in the background crying. You guys know this is just how it is when there's a live stream at home with Bella being Bella. Um, 50 is still hot for you. <laughs> yeah, it's um, Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now. It's 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa, Lexa, Tonight, stop. 58, 58 degrees. degrees. Stop. Hope you've enjoyed your Wednesday. Thank, thank you. 58 degrees. Whoa, that's freezing for Florida. You went for 8 to 10 hours on Saturday. Where were you at Saturday, Magic Kingdom? No, Monday. I don't know what Jeter Bend is. What is Jeter Bend? Is that something that I should know? That's hot. It's freezing here in Florida. I mean, that's Florida. Look, I, 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 I don't want it to be cold. You'll be going uh, Thursday, 8 to 10. Awesome. Hopefully she's not too. She's right there. She's just right there crying. It's in celebration, Jeter, what did it say? What is it called? Jeter Bend? Is it a plate? Like, is it is it a area of town? Or is it an event? Celebration, Florida homes that light up about 20 houses or so. Oh, okay. That sounds awesome. Jolly Creek. I've, I've seen that on Twitter um, and wanted to do that too. The house is at Jeter Bend. I'll have to add that to the list. Celebration's just really far. Um, yeah, Jolly Creek looks fun. It's, it's, I don't think it's as expensive as Give Kids the World, right? But I mean, that's going towards a good cause. So I'm, I don't really care too much about the, the price. Bubbles and Snope. <laughs> Tons of bubbles and Snope. That's awesome. It ain't that far. I mean, it's far, but it ain't that far. Like, it's past the parks. I just, I just need to be motivated to go do all the things. I love the lights too. There's some, there's some lights around here too. Okay, I'm gonna open up a card. So, first one, funny enough, is actually from my parents. So my mom not only sent me a card to my house, but she sent me a card to my P.O. box. I guess she was like, here, let me do my, it says Merry Christmas. I'll put my sticker on there. 
Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> I guess she thought maybe I wouldn't have anything in my P.O. box, so she wanted me to, to have one. This card is nicer than the one that came to my house. <laughs> Your brother sent you a can opener for Christmas? That, I mean, that's, that's still a pretty good gift in my opinion. Also, I, I did see the TikTok where you're not supposed to do it this way. You're supposed to do it this way. And I'm, I'm just, sometimes TikToks pop across my screen and I'm like, what? That can't be real. Like, that doesn't happen, right? That's not how you do it. So, yeah, you'll have to try multiple ways to use your can opener. Cut your thumb on a can opener a couple weeks ago. Maybe we were doing it the wrong way because the TikTok was like, you know, you don't do it on the side like this because then you get to a point where you have to reach in and take the top off. You have to flip it over. And if you flip it over, it like it attaches to it some way. And I'm like, I've been using a, a can opener wrong for 34 years. Give kids the world's way more impressive. Yeah. The airboat decorated. That would be fun, though. You've seen Gatorland had Christmas events. I've never, I've never been to Gatorland. Still, gotta be careful with can openers. Yes, yes. Okay, so my mom sent me a card. I'm like a little kid. It says joy, and then it says may your heart be worn by the simple blessings of Christmas. To a burger with everything, love mom and dad. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> Hi, Jess. You missed my mom sent me a card. <laughs> of, the, of the three things in my box, one thing is from my mother. That's still cute, though. She said she was working late, so she's probably going to miss the stream. But she usually comes in and says hi. But thanks, mom. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Okay, this one's from Skipper Bob. I have, I'm, I'm trying to be good and get in the habit of not bringing the stuff up because it has people's addresses on it. Um, so like even this box here has an address. Ooh. This is a fun card. Look at Santa on a unicorn. It's all glittery too. It's magical Santa. Oh, is there stickers? Oh, he sent me some of his stickers. That's awesome. I've seen his stickers. Like this is, unless he's changed it. Like this was his main like thumbnail. Cretans Guild. Here's another sticker. Skipper Bob probably backwards but <laughs> these are fun <laughs> okay so we got the fun Santa with not backwards oh. um, here's to a better 2021 than the last 18 years of 2020 hope it's magical skipper Bob and the Creedence Guild that's awesome thank you I love Santa. Look at the look on his face, too. He was just like, yes, I'm Santa. <laughs> I'm doing Santa things. But the, oh, okay. For, the, for a second there, I thought the unicorn's legs were like tied together. But no, they just have little, little tassely decoration things on it. <laughs> yeah, don't drop the gift, Santa. He looks kind of like, eh, I don't care about these presents. <laughs> That's not nice, Santa. Don't do that. Thank you, Skipper Bob. I don't think you're in here, but thank you. My mind is never in the right place. We'll just go ahead and say that. Okay, so then I have a box from Chuckster. I don't know what's in here. I did... Oh. Well, I, I, for a second, I was like, did he, like, kidnap this unicorn? And he's like, I'm going to replace you. I'm going to replace the, the reindeers with you. But I don't know. So I don't, I don't know what's in here. Ooh. 
I sense a theme. <laughs> it says, <laughs> have a magical holiday. It's another unicorn. <laughs> there, oh my gosh, this box is in, this is the size of the box. This was like the perfect box. Yes, it's another unicorn. There is another box. This box is the size of the shipping box. So that was like a perfect size box. Oh no, this is wrapped too. Oh wait, this is this is thin enough, I think. With eight tiny unicorns. That could totally work. Like they're unicorns are already magical, right? You're you're plating dinner. I just had dinner. I had dinner and I did all my dishes. I really wanted to leave it in the sink, but I was good and I did not leave it in the sink. I did my dishes like an adult. Okay, I'm just gonna do this to show you guys the box. This is an amazing box and I cannot wait to reuse it. I don't even know what's in the box, <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, there's so many fun things. Oh, Ooh. okay, first there's a card. This is legit like Christmas. He even messaged me because I told you guys before, this is an amazing card. I love all the sparkles. I'm getting sparkles with Santa, but I got two cards with sparkles of Santa. Bella, that is not yours. Get your nose hold out of my box. No, stop it. Stop it. Okay. Anyway. Um, so the, my post office box is like the smallest box possible. So... If you mail something to me that's bigger than like a card, it can't fit in the box, so I have to go pick it up. So of course, he was tracking and it kept saying, try to deliver undeliverable, but the post office just puts it there. There's a present for her in there? Cause she sure has her nose holes in there. <laughs> um, but it just, it, it holds it at the post office and then I have like so many days to go pick it up, but I had to, it said it would be available to pick up yesterday. So I wanted to wait till today, but okay, here's the card. I'm going to be quiet because you guys know I talk and it's another glittery Santa and it says it's Christmas. There's nothing more jolly, delightful or fun than Christmas. The magic just can't what or fun than Christmas. The magic just can't be outdone. I can read. I promise. Uh, hope yours is the kind that you'll never forget your warmest happiest and merriest yet yay merry christmas to you and bella and chuckster and he said to keep making great videos and there's the inside yay santa do you want to see the santa card okay there bella likes it I know I should get a gold star for doing my dishes. I made shrimp pasta. Talk away. I can't help it. Tabella does get her nose holes in here. Okay, so first, these are amazing. I think I, I saw these online, like you advertising them. Instead of a pass holder, it's a mask holder with the orange bird. <laughs> Okay, I have so many magnets. I know I have like done live streams that I've taken you around my house. You guys know I have the perfect place for this. And here's another one. 2020 Never Forget. And it's Mickey and Minnie with face masks on. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love them already. I love my present already. Like there doesn't need to be anything else in here. Tell what you're referencing. T -t 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 Today, Junior! <laughs> Making fun of a real little kid that can't read. Are you psycho? Do you not have a soul? Okay. And then this I saw and I was like, oh my gosh. Is this? There's no way. There's no way this can be real. There's more stuff in here? Oh my gosh, Chuckster, this just keeps going. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to ever open this to like, I, I want to open it, but I don't want to open it. If you go on Twitter, I just tweeted that I was, when I was doing my dishes, I got an Amazon Echo Show 8 
and I was um, I was watching Beetlejuice, and Chuckster got me Beetlejuice. There's no, there's no way this is legit, right? Even if it, even if it wasn't legit, this is amazing. I, I need to frame this. Like, what? What? That is so cool. It's signed. Based on a story by, oh. Second draft, August 8th, 1986. I was less than a month old. I'm October 25th, 1986. This is so fun. So it, it says on here, on the back, it has all the signatures. Oh man. Chuckster, that is awesome. Are you still in here? Shake, 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 Shinoda, shake your body line. Shake, 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 Shinoda, walk a dog a dime. <laughs> I look 19. Yay! <laughs> I sure feel 19. Actually, I feel younger than 19 because 19 year olds are, I don't know, they're kind of still moody. I'm eh, moody too, but no, I'm 34 now. This is awesome. This is great. Bella loves it too. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to be very very careful with that and I I really want to open it. I really want to look in it, but Oh my gosh. Am I allowed to open it? Is this something that I should open? I feel like I shouldn't open it. I want to look at it though. I just cannot They should have made this plastic a little bit like loose so that I could look in there. Okay, I'm putting it back, I'm putting it back. Okay, putting it down there. There's more stuff in here. Magical Disney piece of cardboard to, do you feel, you feeling 22? I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot, a lot younger than 22. The butt, yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm getting, I'm getting it. Oh my gosh, nope. Do you see it? Chuckster said there's something in there for you. <laughs> well, I guess she found it. Oh, no, it fell on the ground. RIP. You got to get it. Okay, I'll get it. Okay, hold on. I know this is an awkward angle, but Bella, Bella saw her present. There you go, baby. Chuckster got that for you. I can go ahead and open it. Well, I feel like Bella's hogging the spotlight now that she's got her new toy. Bella, I love him. I, you literally just, I just picked it up off the ground. How many times are we going to play this? Okay, okay. <sighs> this is spoiled, man. <laughs> she She's going to destroy it, though, Chuckster. Obviously, she loves it, but she loves to destroy the squeakies out of it. Okay, okay. You said I can open it, right? You said I can open the oh, the Beetlejuice. She is a smart dog. She's like something smells like a dog toy. If I go out, if I go out, no. Okay, here. You ready? Here we go. If um, <laughs> okay. I can't open the Beetlejuice. Okay. I just wanna. I just wanna flip through a few pages. Hi, Skipper Bob. I opened your stuff. I got your card. You're late. I love, I love the unicorn Santa. And I love all the stickers. So thank you. Merry Christmas. I'm opening um, a Beetlejuice 
manuscript? Is it a manuscript? Is that what it's called? Screenplay? Okay, I'm gonna be gentle. Santa card is awesome. There's still something else in this box from Chuckster, but I have to open the screenplay. I wonder, like, is, I have to see. Is it like a, a few scenes? Like, there's no way that entire movie is just in this, because that's not very thick. No, this is not for you, baby girl. No, you already got your toy. She's like, is there something else in there for me? Okay, I just want to look. Okay, I got to flip to the end. Like, where does it stop? Is this the whole thing? This is the whole movie? <laughs> it doesn't look like the whole strip. It just got to be the whole script. I guess, you know, it's been so long. You think for an hour and a half, an hour and a half movie that it would be longer. That sheet was full of ghosts. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to read this. Like, actually read this. Is this... Is this to the movie? Like, it has to be from the movie because it has actors from the movie. But, like, I know there's a Beetlejuice the musical, too. I'm like, I wonder how much of this... Like, is this the whole script that was in the movie? Or, you mean, like, the part that was in the movie? Or is this um, what ended up being in the movie? Like, are there any scenes that were cut that I now have the dialogue for? Okay, I'm just, I'm getting, I'm getting way too excited. This should be from the movie. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in. Maybe be gentle. I need, I need some, something like this, I guess, to where I can occasionally take it out. Like, I don't want to frame it so much to where I can't. Okay, get back in. Go back in your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me, screenplay. There we go. Okay. But I want to be able to occasionally take it out. But if I just totally frame it, then I won't be able to take it out ever again. <laughs> Unless I unframe it. So that's awesome. Okay. There's another present in here. Just give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Okay. Here's another present. This one has Mickey and Minnie. Or no, wait, it's all Minnie. Oh, no. Yeah, there is Mickey. Bella, you only get one present. How many presents do you need? Bella goes, Will you get two? How many? Um, I should get two. Okay, here. I'll scoot the box over. The unicorn, magical unicorn box. Okay. What do you guys think it is? Scott, it has been so long since I read. What's in the box? <laughs> I don't know. I'm about to find out. It's been so long since I read a script or a screenplay or anything. Hi, Leanne. It's a kitty in the box. I hope not. Whoa. What? You had said that you were gonna get me something like this for live streaming in the park, but I didn't actually expect you to. What? I know this is like super expensive. I. I guess I need to start live streaming a lot more. Can I put my cam my, my phone up in this? This is awesome. It's awesome, but I also don't know how to do it. Oh no, this picture has a, has a phone. So the only thing I don't know, as we found out on, on a, 
Saturday at SeaWorld. How do these people keep a good connection? I can't put put on your phone on or your camera. You can use, oh, okay, hold on. Put your phone or my camera. Can I live stream from my camera? Is that a thing? Whoa. But yeah, how do I, I don't, I don't know how to keep good connection. I have to open it now? Okay, go get down there and go get your toy. Oh no, I'm not prepared. Oh, I will use this to open it up. I don't know how to keep good connection in the parks so that I can use this and like actually live stream from the park for those days that I'm like, eh, I don't want to film a video, but I'll live stream for a little bit. Pull your phone. It's based on the availability of your phone. Okay. So I just have to hope my, it, it's based on my phone. I guess I'd have to, don't I have to get, she set it up the best way is to go on YouTube. Oh no. Okay. It's a black box. It looks very fancy. Like that is a lot, that is a lot of equipment. That is a lot of things. Then I, then I, oh, okay. I got to read. I'll have to read things. I don't want to read it now. Quick start guide. It would not be quick for me charging port does this so i can hook my battery charger pack Bella, up to it i am in i'm an iphone i will totally go on youtube to figure this out so those would be the days where i go to live stream for two or three hours in the park and there would be no video that's what would happen because if i i it's either bringing the camera or Bringing the gimbal. Okay, this is way too fancy. I'm afraid to break it just to take it out. <laughs> how, how do I make it stationary? I'll figure it out. I need a quick, quick guide. There's a lot of good videos on YouTube. That's a, okay. I don't know about last, this weekend. I, I haven't finalized my plans for this weekend, but I have to first figure out how to use this thing and set everything up right. Hold it still up. <laughs> there, we. I hold it still. It's still. It looks too. There's too many buttons. I'm gonna put it back. That's how I stop it. I just touch it. That's the the, the whole point. I mean, I'm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Awesome though. Thank you, Chuckster. That's an incredibly kind. An expensive gift. And again, I don't do well at accepting things. So please forgive my inability to fully show how much I appreciate it. I just, other than saying thank you. It's really nice. You got me a new toy that I can, I have to learn how to use. I don't know how these things are. This is hefty. This is a hefty thing. No one is you. I hate showing my shaky videos. And I'm con I'm like this with my phone and I'm like, my arm's getting tired. Okay, now this arm's getting tired. <laughs> and I'm having to walk the absolute slowest that I can so that it's not shaky. But thank you so much. That was so sweet. This was sweet. The Beetlejuice, the card, Skipper Bob, your card. Mom, your card. <laughs> oh man, I love, I love, I love the box. I gotta show the Bella. Get your, get your head out of the box. I gotta show the top of the box again. It just makes me happy. <laughs> Yay, Bella, get your head out of there. Stop. Bella just thinks everything's for her now. Now that, now that Chuckster got her a present, she's just like, yeah, this is all mine. This is all for me. Oh, that was exciting. Christmas came early. Yay. I'm usually always smiling. Bella. 
We'll take those anytime. Why is Bella crying? Because Bella cries all the time. That's just Bella. Bella's always crying. Just keep up the good videos. And you'll be joining in the parks with your channel next year. Yay! <laughs> Dad says thanks. <laughs> I'm excited to figure out how to use this thing. Definitely will help with stability. I, oh, Bella, don't go under the tripod. Whew, that was a close one. Things almost, almost got, almost got scary. Thank you, Skipper Bob. So yeah, now I guess, now I guess we just chat for a little while. What movies did I buy on Black Friday? Do I need to go get them? Does anybody else care what movies? Hi, country girl. Does anybody else want to see what movies I got? <laughs> Cause I have them right over there all open. We did a whole, a whole stream and at the beginning, we didn't even get a tour. We'll just, we'll do a little haul of what I did. But at the beginning of, of quarantine, we, we did a lot of live streams just talking at my house. Okay, let me go grab some. Are you sure you're ready for this? <laughs> I got I got quite a few. Are you are you, are you sure you, you want to know what I got? <laughs> oh no. I'm making the couch sink in. Okay, I'm just going to throw them over here. Yes, this was all Black Friday. <laughs> I, I love, um, some people will message me because I'll post I'm watching something. I'm going to make coffee. I'll post, some, um, I'll post something on like Instagram or Twitter and they'll message me and go, what streaming service? And I'm like, my, my house. <laughs> that's, that's what I got. Okay, so I always wait until Black Friday to get all my movies because everything's so cheap. So even if I didn't have the AMC A-lists where you can go see up to three movies a week, I would I would buy the movies now because it's, you know, you can get a Blu-ray stuff for $6.99, $8.99, $9.99, which is still cheaper than going to the movies. I'm like, and then if you end up liking it, then you have the movie for forever, so. Okay, Chuckster. You have your own theater. I want a, I want my own movie theater. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown. You guys can say if you like it or whatever. Ha I, I admit half of these probably I haven't even seen. So again, it was the it was so cheap five six seven eight ninety nine that I'm like I'll just buy it. So first up, a movie I heard that was actually a lot better than you thought it was going to be was Birds of Prey. Yes. Oh, I miss Blockbuster. I promise I can see, I can talk here. Um, so Birds of Prey, I haven't seen. Hold on, Bella. I gotta make a even surface here with the unicorn so I can put the movies there. A movie that honestly, it was okay. See, I heard that it was actually really pretty good. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, a movie that I actually don't know if I own, but I got the, ah! I got the steelbook version of Jaws. So from Best Buy, got the fun tin. Oh, Bella, go get your toy. It's right there, baby. It's right there. You can't come through this way. The, the tripod's there. You gotta go there. I'm sorry, honey. I can't help you out. And then, let's see, I'll, I'll like move the Christmas ones to the side here. Another one I haven't seen. I have to invest in a 4K player. I know, I just have a Blu-ray player, but I think my TV's 4K. Yes. Uh, Pikachu. I haven't seen Pikachu, but it was like $5. So, Bella, 
Back it up. I put this box here in the way. To stop. Stop. Back it up. Beep. 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 That's enough. That's enough. You stay over there. There's no reason for you to be over here by the tripod. Fancy. What about paging? What about Nate? Fancy in my paging Mr. Morrow voice. Oh, fancy. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Sorry. Took me a minute there. Okay. And then a movie that I own already, but I love it so much that I bought it with the Blu-ray digital Beetlejuice. <laughs> Chuckster's like, I, I guess she does like Beetlejuice. So I got a good gift then. No, baby. No. Here. Is this what you want? Is this the toy that you want? This is the only thing that's over here. Isn't that fitting? That should be the new thumbnail, right? New thumbnail, like. <laughs> I love it. But it's 4K. Like, I don't have a 4K player right now. But this was still cheaper than, like, the Blu-ray. So, that is true. But I, 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 okay. How many times have I said it? I probably said it plenty of times. It should be showtime, but he's not here. <laughs> that is true. I'll just watch it and then and then follow my script. I do not have a problem with swear words in my life, but I try to keep my channel family friendly. <laughs> Hell yes. That's not what I really would say as a cuss word, but I try to keep everything kind of family friendly. But in my real life, n n no, I'm cursing like a sailor most times. My, my only probably negative vice as a, as a person. Another movie I have not seen, but I wanted to see in theaters, um, Midway. Have you guys seen it? I love Mandy Moore. I like Luke Evans. I like all the people in there, but I haven't seen it. I am kind of, I'm kind of Beetlejuicy. But anyway, Midway looks good. And then I I I I got a holiday <laughs> celebrate the second trolls. It's hard to remember not to curse on the vlogs. It really well, I do. That's why I'm going. I probably would be really bad doing live streams because multiple times now I have wanted to make a certain comment that a particular Michael Scott in the office says all the time and I've had to stop myself and it's really hard. There we go. There's another one. Um, gotta, gotta love, gotta love the trolls. No, I'm trying. I'm family friendly. Um, you can't picture me swearing illusion shattered. <laughs> Beetlejuice. I said it. Anyway, I love trolls. I like the first one more than the second one, but this is still really fun. I know Sean likes it, but I think he's long gone. He probably just popped in to show his support. But I know that Sean liked the trolls. Another movie I have not seen. Ex yes, Nick. <laughs> um, I didn't say it. Invisible Man. I heard good things about this as well, and I never got to the theaters to see it. So, about that. You did get a picture of them with... Yes... That's awesome. Yes, I like I like getting pictures with them at Universal. I got to see the the glitter farting guy diamond. That was fun. Okay, next up, Terminator Dark Fate. Yes, the newer Terminator. Because why not? Because I I think I own all the other ones, so why not get the newest Terminator? Let's see. Another one I haven't seen. Yeah, it's Glitter Farting Guy Diamond. The kid who could we, who, who would be king. The kid who would be king. There we go. Who doesn't love the Terminator? But there, I don't know who's, who's seen this. Like a Knights of the Round Table little kid movie. I like kid movies. I don't care. I'm in my mid-30s. Almost mid-30s. Thinking of kids movie abominable 
this is a great movie. I was very much surprised. I actually, I don't watch my friends' movies anywhere or Voodoo account. I don't do that. But this is one of the movies that she had purchased and I liked it so much and thought it was so cute that I was like, I'm gonna get it. So, did you like it? I recommend people watch it, it's very cute. Dude Little, another just kind of just fun one. Nothing like magical about the movie, but I mean, I just, I, I, I like it. I like Robert Downey Jr. I like animals, so it's just a goofy movie. Uh, you didn't know that one ever stay. That was bad. <laughs> I again, it, it, it's not the best movie. But I thought it was cute. Like, there's not a whole lot of movies that I think are just absolutely terrible. There are a lot, there's a lot of them that I would go, I probably won't watch that again. Like, I saw Freaky in theaters with Vince Vaughn, like the serial killer one where they switch bodies. And um, I was like, it was okay. I mean, it had some funny parts. I'm like, but I probably won't watch it again, or at least anytime soon. Like maybe this time next year, if it pops on somewhere, I might go, eh, I'll watch that again. Like maybe it'll get better the second time around. So I did not get a goofy movie. Talking to the animals is totally magical. Uh, another movie that I love that I think a lot of people didn't like, but it just gets better and better and funnier and funnier every time I see it. Sonic. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. I actually just watched this the other day and every every single time, every single time that Jim Carrey does his little dance, you guys know, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. I just laugh harder and harder every time. I just, I love Jim Carrey. And I mean, James Marston isn't, isn't hard, hard to, you know, look at either, so. You did hear it was better than people expected. It was so much better, which was the opposite of Pikachu. You know, expected Pikachu to be okay. I still haven't seen it, but I bought it to give it a chance. But yes, Sonic, and it definitely grows on you the more and more you watch it. So I recommend Sonic. Um, gotta love a zombie land. And I only saw zombie land double tap once in theaters. So I can't wait to watch it again. Not as good as the first one, but still funny. And again, some of these movies are just like, they grow on you, you know? Like they get funnier and funnier. The more times you watch it, you start to appreciate it more. Pikachu is good. Okay, well then I'm, I'm I mean, obviously I'm gonna watch it because I bought it, but. I like a lot of movies. So th there are there are some movies, like like again, I wouldn't say go out and get Dr. Doolittle or what, or, you know, I would be very picky with ones that I tell you to spend your money on. But if you can find it somewhere for free for streaming or like a 99 cent or a dollar 99 and you're looking for something to watch, then, you know, I would say watch it. But I, I just like a lot of movies. I have a bookshelf full of movies and two huge cases full of movies. I love Enchanted. I have Enchanted. Granted, it's in um, a DVD. What's a movie that I didn't like? I hated La La Land. Hated La La Land. And I love musicals. But I hated it. And I was so mad that everybody loved it. There's a couple other movies that I, I don't, I hated Hereditary. I wanted to walk out of the theaters for that. Again, there's probably only like maybe five or 10 movies that I've ever seen that I've just gone, no. Or, or, I've, or I've stopped in the middle and just stopped watching. Like, I just really didn't care even what happened to anybody. Yeah. I love Moulin Rouge. I can't wait to see it come. I think it's, is it coming here next year? I think it's coming here next year. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with the world. But I love horror movies. Hereditary isn't just for, I mean, I'm a horror fan. I'm a super horror fan, but I hated that movie. What's good? Okay, hold on. La La Land's terrible. 
I hated it. I hated how they mixed it. They mixed like like a different era with another era. I'm like, you can't have cell phones and what they're trying to, trying to, anyway, okay. Okay, bye Kyle. I'm only gonna try to, I'm gonna probably gonna go like either another 10 minutes or until I get done with just showing these movies and then I gotta go too and get ready for the night. Um, okay, another movie that I think I don't know if any a whole lot of people saw or it didn't get super great reviews, but Mortal Engines. I actually really enjoyed this movie. And it was again another one that I was like, I'd like to see that again. So it's, it's from the filmmakers of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So I don't know why this didn't get more like recognition than what it did. But okay, we only got a few more left. Another movie that's a kid's movie, Spies in Disguise. But this, I highly recommend Highly recommend people see. So Will Smith and Tom Holland, and this is, of course, where he gets, he's a super spy, but he gets turned into a pigeon. This was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be, and a lot of jokes for, like, adults. So, yes, very, very good. I very much enjoyed this one. Okay, I haven't seen this, but my, my neighbor kind of did a spoiler for me because she was like, did you watch that movie yet with sa da 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 And I said, that, that doesn't ring a bell. And she said, oh, I remember last Christmas. And I said, no, I have not seen it yet. And thank you for telling me like a huge spoiler. So yeah, I know a spoiler about this movie, but yeah, I have not seen last Christmas. With the mother of dragons but so yeah got that on the list and then only got a few more so i do not know a time that i'm going to be in the mood to watch this but it was still a good movie so i bought joker it's just definitely a very heavy movie there's that word again <laughs> but I, I mean i i just wanted to have it for when i just got in that weird deep mood and wanted to see it so Yes, I have it. Again, it was like seven or eight ninety nine. So, why why not buy it? Um, this is another. Either you loved it or you hated it. The dead don't die. Um, this is a very very stupid zombie movie. It has Bill Murray and what's his name? Kylo Ren, Adam Driver. And it's just, it's a very stupid movie, but I thought it was funny. So anyway, and then there, this was like, um, I love the dead don't die. <laughs> it, again, it's either one of you love it or you hate it. Or like my love isn't like, oh my God, it's so amazing. It was just the, this is so stupid, but I just, it's, it's just has its funny moments. Um, I can't remember. This was like 12 or $16, but it's all the Mission Impossible movies in one Blu-ray set. So I was like, why not? I think I have the last two, but you know, now I have all the Mission Impossibles and it came with the digital download. So I can, I can watch the majority of these. <laughs> stupidness. Yes, I laughed at the stupidness too. This is going to end badly. <laughs> and then this was an amazing deal that I think was less than $20. And it's all three Bill and Ted movies, including the newest one in Blu-ray. And I was like, you can't even buy this one for cheaper than I got all three of them. So that was a great deal. I already own the other two, but I think in DVD. So these are all Blu-ray and then I got the third one. I don't know which Mission Impossible is the best. I will have to watch all of them and see how that is the most excellent. And then the last four are a few movies that I actually have, but again, I think I have DVDs of them. 
My favorite, all-time favorite Christmas movie is Christmas Vacation. Love it. White Christmas, it's a good one. It went off of Netflix and I wanted to watch it and then it came back to Netflix right when I bought it. So, yes. No, I will not replace it. I would just have multiple copies. Not replacing it. Where's the Tylenol? <laughs> Elf, another great one. And then the, the big debate of, is this a Christmas music movie? Die Hard. So, yep, that's all the things I got. I don't know how many that was. Way, way too many is the answer. All right, now I gotta see what all you guys were saying. Be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes! <laughs> so yes, I got, I, got a, I got a good Black Friday. Best Christmas movie, I have to say, definitely is Christmas Vacation for me. And then Elf. And then I'd have to think. And then probably Scrooge is third. A Christmas debate? Oh no. I don't want a Christmas debate. Oh, I love M Muppet Christmas Carol. I love it. I love it. I always, I always start to tear up at the end. Yes, Home Alone does rank. I like the second one better than the first one. They followed it up with the original Vacation. <laughs> Not the Vacation remake. Oh no. Is that the one that focuses on Cousin Eddie? That was, that was not good. Huh. Anyway, Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you, Creedence Guild and Chuckster and Mom <laughs> for sending me stuff. No, no, no. I got to go. It's it's almost 7.30. The re Russ is an adult. Oh, uh, Okay. You're doing vlogmas? Oh, awesome. Yeah, no, that's that's too that's too much for me. I've been very, very lazy recently, as I, I'm sure you can tell. But yes, everybody have a good night. Thank you for joining me for an hour of our home it's home day. Home day. <laughs> so hold on, let me get let me get this off so. Bella can say goodnight too. Bella says, thank you, Chalkster. Thank you for my toy. I loved it. I loved it so much. It made me super tired. <laughs> all right. Well, good night, everybody. I'll see you all later. See, this is why, why the gimbal will be helpful. So it's not super shaky like this. <laughs> all right. Bye.